It's Monday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's head to the cafeteria to find out what Miss Betsy has on the lunch menu today. Woo! Last week was really a long one. Okay, Monday we're just having a chicken sandwich. Tuesday we're having a burrito, so come on down and see us. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, clear out your lunch charges by adding money to your account, and remember to bring in your purple free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy so she can process those. Glad your books are only $55 in the business office for a few more weeks. Prices will go up in December. Deadlines for college applications are getting closer, and we still have several colleges visiting us. Here's the lineup. The next college visit we have scheduled is for CU Denver on Tuesday, October 31st. November's visits start on Thursday, November 2nd with Luther College. And check this out. On November 8th, the reps from the Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy will be here during lunch in the Lower Commons, and they're setting up a braid bar. So stop by and get information on the school and get your hair done, too. November visits wrap up with Adams State on Thursday, November 16th. One last counseling center announcement for seniors. If you are taking the National ACT this coming Saturday, pick up a free test prep booklet from Miss Aveda in the counseling center. And as always, swing by the counseling center to pick up your hall passes for college visits. After the sports update, we're coming back with scary news for you. But first, here's Hannah Hall with our Gladiator Sports Update. Welcome back, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall with your Gladiator Sports Update. The forensics team will be competing this Thursday in a congress meet in Pueblo at Pueblo West High School. Good luck to the forensics team. Congratulations to the WHS band who made it to state. They will be competing this Friday at the D20 Stadium. If you can make it, come cheer on the band at state. Our gladiator football team is taking its 6-2 record to CA Foster Stadium this Friday to tackle the Pine Creek Eagles. Come out and support the Glads in their quest to make it a memorable season. The game starts at 7. Our Lady Glads volleyball team is on a roll and will be back on the court tomorrow against Harrison at Harrison. Go out and cheer them on to victory. Ladies, if you missed the informational meeting for Swim and Dive, please see Miss Wickberg in room 110. Get ready to start the year with a splash. Ladies, your last basketball open gym will be tonight and Wednesday before basketball camp starts. Camp runs from October 30th to November 2nd. See Mr. Washington in room 115 for more information. And finally, winter sports athletes, listen up. Yellow cards and physical forms will be available starting Monday, October 23rd in the main office. If you already have a physical on file, stop by to pick up your yellow card. Winter sports practices will start on November 10th. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Monday. I'm Hannah Hall. Now back to you, Moose and Daniel. Thanks, Hannah. Gladiator pop sockets are going fast. They're only $10 and is a great way to show your spirit. Spruce up your phone and help NHS raise some money. See Miss HK in the library to get yours today. If you need to spruce up your gladiator gear, check out the new school store. DECA and FBLA will be selling gladiator gear before school on Mondays and Fridays and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. They have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, and baseball hats at very reasonable prices. <laughs> and now here are your club and activities updates for Monday and Tuesday. Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID like this one to stay and play or to work on homework. The Science Club meets today at lunch in room 121. Coding Club also today in room 7 from 3 to 4 p.m. with Ms. Hine. And the Spirit Club also meets after school today in rooms 502 or 511. Add these to your calendar for Tuesday's meetings. Forensics meets in Miss Owen's room at lunch, but check with her or Mr. Alhoffer for upcoming meetings. The Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Link Crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or 201. And finally, if you are interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Miss Shepard. As promised, here's the scary news before we go. The library is having a scary book contest for weekly prizes. How do you play? It's simple. Check out a book this month. Each book earns you an entry for prizes. Don't be scared. Check out a book today. The results are in for Penny Wars, and it was a close one, but congratulations to Miss Everwine's classes for bringing in the most 
money. The Red Cross Club collected a grand total of $243 to donate to Hurricane Relief. And finally, <laughs> Halloween is about a week away and we got word that we will be able to wear costumes. We do have a few guidelines for you. Admin has asked us not to wear full facial makeup or masks and costumes should still fit dress code rules. The rules are simple, so get your costume ready to go. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Monday. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.